What's up guys? I'm here to let you know that it has already begun and of course we got to find ways to actually defend ourselves from it and of course I'm talking about the ATF going around and seizing certain items. Now guys, you're probably thinking about force reset triggers and of course this right here is true. Force reset triggers by the way are not illegal. Also something else too, solvent traps are not illegal. As a matter of fact, there was actually a Supreme Court case that deemed them not illegal. Now, really quick, guys, I got to kind of make this point really quick before we go any further. This video right here is not so much about solvent traps. It's not so much about FRTs. It's about the fact that the ATF is actually using, a, let's just say, nefarious means to try to get these pieces. And, of course, we'll get into the clip that, by the way, has been circulating throughout the entire Internet. Of course, I'm talking about the ATF trying to seize a man's solvent traps, which, by the way, they don't have any authority to do so. And to go on top of that right there, this right here is occurring in the state of Florida. So to all you dissents out there, please explain to me why is this crap right here is going on in that state. Oh, wait, that's right. Ron DeSantis touts red flag gun laws, which, by the way, are in the state of Florida. We all know how bad those things are. But this video right here, guys, is designed not to talk about the solvent traps, but what about, uh, let's just say, what to do. Now, guys, before I go any further, i got to go ahead and lay this disclaimer out there. There are several YouTube channels out there. There are several articles out there. So, I mean, just your good old-fashioned Constitution will actually tell you what to do in this situation because you have a Fourth Amendment right against illegal search and seizure. But by all means, guys, I ask you guys, go out there and source all the information you can get so that way you guys don't get caught up in a trap like this guy right here did. Let's go ahead and roll this. Nick, what's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, with the ATF. Okay. I'm hearing about a solvent trap that you ordered. Okay. Do you still have it? I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay. Um, well, we're actually here to recover because they're being used as suppressors. Do you have a warrant? I don't have a warrant. If you okay. let me finish, I can talk to you. Okay. Yep. They're being used as suppressors. Now, we're just here to pick them up. If you don't have it, you can sign that you don't have it anymore. I'm not going to sign anything. Okay, don't sign anything. So what will happen is if you're caught with it, we'll prosecute you federally. Sure. For an NFA item. Sure. Okay. Um, you're obviously going to be on the radar now. I appreciate all the cooperation. We just came to pick it up and have it destroyed. Um, but since you're being such a polite person, I mean, we'll leave it at that. that we, we know what you're using it for. Correct. I mean, you bought a no, jig with it for your AR-15. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. So this isn't the first to, time we've done this. If you want to come back with the warrant? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do that. Okay. Absolutely. Take your hand out your pocket for me, please. I'm sorry. Take your hand out your pocket for me. You're on my talking to you in an official capacity, so you're on my property in your right. pocket. So we're, right. not, we're not trying to be your, be jerks here. You are though. You're you're, well, you're, you're, not, the, AT, you're the ATF. Come we're on. idiots. No, no, I didn't say that. What I said you're the ATF. Correct. Your entire job is. To take away people's guns. I don't think you have any idea what our job is. I know is, everything actually. about your job. Okay. Shall not be infringed. So violent uh, criminals with guns that we take off the street. That's oh, like oh. at Waco, like oh. at Ruby Ridge. Oh my gosh, Bro, my dogs! You need to quit. And you keep right. my dogs you in the house. You need to quit reading so many books. Break. I, yeah, it's, it's you're watching books. too many shows. Yeah, and that's too many it. Books. yeah. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll find you again someday. No, you won't. Um, yeah. Anyway, have a good one. Yeah, I you appreciate too. the cooperation. Take it easy. Yes, sir. Watch out for the dogs, guys. <laughs> If you're caught with it, you're going to be charged. You're going to be prosecuted federally. Okay, first of all, you can't prosecute somebody for something that, quite frankly, there is no law against. Also, to go on top of this, the gentleman should probably go inside and call local law enforcement. As I am about to de talk to you guys about in the next actual clip or the next actual edited clip of this video, there was a case where a gentleman was contacted by federal law enforcement. He went inside of his home. He actually called the AT. He actually called local law enforcement. They came by, actually arrested the people, actually told them to go. Because you see, they didn't have a warrant either. If federal law enforcement does not have a warrant, then quite frankly, they can't take anything. This is for the most part, it's a bullying tactic. Also, we know what you're using it for. Okay, number one, you don't know what the hell I'm using it for at all. You're automatically making an assumption. There's also this little segment, and I want to say I had seen it in another video before, where they said that uh, the ATF guys actually got upset with the guy. And they said, uh, don't you think violent criminals need to be... Okay, this right here is yet another tactic that they will use to try to massage and coax things out of you. Basically meaning this is one of the ways that they're going to try to... The little verbal judo that they want to use to try to take something from you that, quite frankly, you have an actual constitutional right to have. And at the same time, they do not have a constitutional right to take. 
why the hell did he ask about dogs? Do you have any dogs in the house? Also, something else, too. Why the freaking ad? I'll let you guys kind of ponder that in the comment section. Also, we're going to find you again someday. It tells me that the ATF plans on aggravating the hell out of people. If I were this gentleman, I would go get an attorney right away, or I would try to at least call some legal minds, because as I've been saying at the very, very beginning of the video, you have a Fourth Amendment right against unlawful search and seizure, and of course, these items are not illegal, so yeah. Once again, guys, we'll see you again. Maybe you should watch out for them. That sounds like a threat to me. Now, I allowed that clip to run all the way through for multiple reasons. I want you guys to kind of pick up on this right here. And by the way, we'll play it again midway through so that way you guys can kind of hear it one more time. Number one, the ATF agents, uh, they showed up there to take the guy's stuff and he said, do you have a warrant? Okay, good to go. Great. However, then they turned right back around and they said, no, we want to talk to you. And you just simply asked them flat out, look, you know, am I being detained? Am I being detained? I've got a Fourth Amendment right against search and seizure, okay? I've got a Fourth Amendment right against illegal search and seizure, is what I meant to say. Am I being detained? Now, of course, they show up to this guy's house. It's his property. Now, there was a case a while back where the ATF, or I think it was the ATF or it was the FBI, actually went to a guy's house, and the guy called local law enforcement on said federal agents, and, of course, the federal agents got arrested. Now, there's been no story reported whether these guys actually went back to that guy's home or not, but typically in a situation like this right here, you can call the cops on these people, especially if they don't have a freaking warrant. I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. Number two, and this right here is very important. You see, once you've told a cop or once you've said, look, do you have a warrant or I'm being detained, they'll try to actually talk to you and they'll try to butter you up is what they try to do to try to get information. Then you got this whole thing where they say, okay, well, uh, you're going to be going on a list and uh, you're going to be flagged, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Flagged for what? solvent is uh solvent traps are not illegal this where was a supreme court case i think back in 2013 deemed and of course it was actually an epa case where solvent was not deemed to be or solvent traps were not deemed to be illegal okay so what they're doing is completely unconstitutional also something else too they showed up without a warrant which by the way is a fourth amendment protection for you because they did not actually bring one with them. They did not show it, and by, and by law, they can't actually seize anything. So maybe what the gentleman should have done is he should have walked back inside and called the police. But then again, though, I understand how he got caught up in this. Police officers oftentimes do this. And by the way, ATF is not police, okay? They're not local law enforcement. Local law enforcement does not do this. I'm not trying to critique local law enforcement. I'm talking about federal law enforcement. You see, these ATF agents were also completely unprofessional. Now, guys, we're going to run it back one more time, and I want you guys to actually listen to the language one more time and pay very close attention to how these ATF agents actually speak to this gentleman. Nick, what's going on, man? How's it going? Hey, with the ATF. Okay. I'm hearing about a solvent trap that you ordered. Okay. Do you still have it? I'm not gonna answer any questions. Okay. Um, well, we're actually here to recover because they're being used as suppressors. Do you have a warrant? I don't have a warrant. If you yeah. let me finish, I can talk to you. Okay. Yep. They're being used as suppressors. Now, we're just here to pick them up. If you don't have it, you can sign that you don't have it anymore. I'm not going to sign anything. Okay, don't sign anything. So what will happen is if you're caught with it, we'll prosecute you federally. Sure. For an NFA item. Okay. Sure. Um, you're obviously going to be on the radar now. I appreciate all the cooperation. We just came to pick it up and have it destroyed. Um, but since you're being such a polite person, I mean, we'll leave it at that. That we, we know what you're using it for, correct? I mean, you bought a no, jig with it for your AR-15. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. So this isn't the first want, time we've done this. If you want to come back with the warrant? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do that. Okay. Absolutely. Take your hand out of your pocket for me, please. I'm sorry. Take your hand out of your pocket for me. You're on my <laughs> talking to you with an official capacity, so you're I really on my property in your pocket. So we're, right. not, we're not trying to be here, be jerks here. You are though. You're you're, well, you're, you're, not, the, AT, you're the ATF. Come we're on. idiots. No, no, I didn't say that. What you I said you're the ATF. Correct. All, your entire job is to take away people's guns. I don't think you have any idea what our job I is. I know actually. everything about your job. Okay. Oh. Shall not be infringed. So violent uh, criminals with guns that we take off the street. That's, oh, like oh. at Waco? Like oh. at Ruby Ridge? Oh, my gosh. My Bro, dogs? You need to quit. I need to keep right. my dogs you in the house. You need to quit reading you're so you're many books. Give me a break. I, yeah, it's, it's you're watching books. too many shows. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Books. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll find you again someday. No, you won't. Anyway, have a good one. I yeah, uh, appreciate too. the cooperation. Take it easy. Yes, sir. Watch out for the dogs, guys. <laughs>
Now, guys, I want us to watch it one more time for a reason. Of course, it's to go over some things that we missed. Okay, my favorite bit of this entire video is where the guy said, well, we're law enforcement. Uh, dude, uh, you may be law enforcement. You may be federal law enforcement, but you ain't got a freaking warrant. You're on my property. Oh, by the way, I can have my hands in my pocket because I'm actually in my home. Guys, they got frustrated and they got less and less professional. They became uh, more and more of a, let's just say that they, uh, they got to, Let's just say they were more willing to bully. They got more frustrated. Also, something else, so if you guys caught it at the end, but the guy said, you guys have been watching too many YouTube videos. Okay, let me tell you guys a quick story really quick. When I was in the Law Enforcement Academy, we had a guy who was actually a student with us, okay? ABC or ALE, okay? By the way, local law enforcement can actually enforce uh, liquor laws, uh, or at least here in the state of North Carolina where I live at. One of the guys, 21 years old, had a bottle of liquor, not an open container, had it in the back of his vehicle, brand new bottle. Cops were actually around there, and they decided to give him crap over this issue. They basically tried to charge him with open container, okay? They basically gave him all kinds of 15 counts of shit is basically what they did. The guy who, by the way, was in my class, he actually argued against it for a second. Cops used the same exact bullying and verbal judo tactics on him, and he basically did exactly what the cops told him to do. Now, guys don't ever relent do not give in they do not have a warrant they cannot actually search your home if they do not have that warrant okay when you hear them say stuff like you've been watching too many youtube videos good i've been watching youtube videos on this i know my constitution i know my freaking rights i know what you can and cannot do so basically what atf agents are actually doing at the end of the day is that they're trying to bully people into giving up their stuff what they do is they like to try to prey on people's agreeableness they like to take advantage of them they like to say okay well, yeah, you have this thing called the Constitution. Well, I guess it doesn't really and truly matter to these people. You see, you might be assuming it. You might be assuming these people were actually Democrats, and for all we know, they could be, or they could be actually Republicans. By the way, I got to make this point one more time. This happened in the state of Florida, the place where they have a governor and they have a system of government where uh, it's supposed to be so conservative. Florida's supposed to be this bastion of freedom, but yet this type of crap is happening on your watch, Ron. And to add to that right there, and I know I've been talking around in circles for the last couple of seconds because now it's starting to sound like a bit of a rant. thing is this right here. They show up to your door. You tell them flat out. You ask them, do you have a warrant? No, I want to talk to you. Am I being detained? I have a right to, uh, to not be unlawfully searched or have any property seized for me. They keep going on. You remind them, okay, well, this right here is an attachment that, quite frankly, has been, is, is actually protected by law. It's actually legal. So you have no authority here. Good day, sir. There will probably be jerks. Slam the door, close the door, call the cops, say, hey, look, man, I got these ATF guys outside my home trying to seize my crap, and they do not have a warrant. Here's my address. Can you guys get here? Or we'll send some people out there right away. Issue will actually be corrected right on the spot. Or that is how it goes most of the time. Also, guys, as I said before earlier in this video, make sure you guys actually consult some additional legal minds. I'm just a good old-fashioned paralegal who went through the law enforcement academy, but there are obviously people out there way smarter than me. But the Constitution is there for a reason. You have a right you have a right to not be unlawfully searched or actually seized. And like I said before, this particular piece of property, this solvent traps and these FRTs, they're not actually banned by law, okay? They're actually protected. They're not illegal. So what the hell can they do? Once again, guys, it's just the ATF trying to bully their way onto people, trying to prey on people that they think are not as smart. This is how they want to do this. But the American people are, in fact, getting smarter as a result of this. Now, guys, let me go ahead and tell you what's actually going to happen as a result of this right I know this video's been getting kind of long, but guys, here's the deal. We on my side of the aisle tend to concert local, uh, we tend to support local law enforcement. Okay, we agree with that. Our local police force, our local sheriff's departments, the vast majority of them don't actually try this type of crap because a lot of us, some of us live in sanctuary counties. For example, my county sheriff is a Democrat, but uh, when she was posed the question, on whether she would actually go around seizing people's property. She said, no, she's not going to do that. People have a constitutional right. Every now and again, you do have somebody who's a Democrat or even somewhere of a live who does not actually agree with taking people's property away from them. Same thing in the county that I'm actually from. The same thing happened there. The county sheriff, once again, is a Democrat. He said the exact same thing. I'm not going to be going around. I'm, going to, I'm not going to order my deputies to go around and seize any, anything from anybody. Okay, so the thing is this right here. For the most part, most deputy sheriffs will not actually allow it to happen. This is why you support your local law enforcement. However, federal law enforcement, especially the current iteration of the FBI under the Biden administration, is a freaking problem. I can see people at the end of the day getting upset and not supporting law enforcement anymore. By the way, the vast majority of their voters or the vast majority of the people who do support them are actually conservatives. 
Let me end the video on this note right here. I know there's been a lot of rambling here and a lot of talk, but guys, if they show up to your home, they do this for you, ask them for a warrant. If they do not produce that warrant, they want to continue to talk. Hey, are you trying to detain me? Or are you actually detaining me at this moment in time? No, they're going to continue to talk, close the door, walk back inside, lock the door, call the friggin' police, say, look, I've got people on my property trespassing. Who are they? They're ATF agents. Why are they at your home? Well, they're trying to take some stuff from me. Quite frankly, they don't have a warrant for it. They're actually just harassing the hell out of me. I want these people to go. Yada, 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 yada. That's pretty much what you need to do. Now, guys, like I said before, I advise you guys to seek out other channels. Mr. Guns and Gear is a really, really good one. Heavy Duty Country is pretty good at calling these issues out. Don't worry, I'll leave his video in the description box as well as Mr. Guns and Gear's videos in the uh, video in the uh, actual description box itself or the comment section. I advise you guys go check out these channels. And while you're at it, go check out other channels that quite frankly deal with legal matters. So that way you guys don't get stumped on this issue because obviously the ATF is trying to prey on people's agreeableness and their actual kind and general nature. But they actually don't seem to realize people are in fact getting smart. And that's another one of the reasons why I'm not concerned. Guys, Gear Issue 33, John Claymore. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, make this video go viral, and I'll see you guys later.